Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Garcia. And Miss James. And here we are to give you another message for the month of May. So we made it to May. Yay. We're three weeks away from uh, the end of the school year, but not yet. Exactly. Not yet. <laughs> um, the power of that word is huge, especially during this time of the month of May when we've been working so hard to make it to this point, we might be feeling a little discouraged, a little tired, but we need to focus on our mindset. And it all starts with that simple word, yet. So if you're feeling like you can do this, what you're, what you're doing in distance learning, think about it this way. I can do this, yet. I'm not good at this, yet. Adding that word at the end of your statements makes it a more powerful uh, thought and, and more powerful words uh, for you to finish strong this school year. Exactly, Ms. James. So then we need to kind of think about where is your mindset? So in this next screen, we see we have the difference between the two, either having a fixed or a growth mindset. Now, Ms. Garcia has to put on her glasses because she can't see without them. So a fixed mindset is someone who ignores feedback, gives up easily, which I know some of us tend to do. They don't try. They feel that mistakes are bad and they avoid challenges. And distance learning has been a challenge, not for, and for everyone, including us counselors and your teachers. But if we have our mindset in the growth sense, we are learning from our failures, we put in the effort. And that's what we've been, keep, we've been trying to tell you, to keep putting in effort. You keep going, and we've got three weeks to keep going, we embrace those challenges that might happen and we learn from the feedback that we get from teachers. So you will learn from your teachers when they give you the feedback about how you're doing on the lessons. So on the next screen, if you're thinking, I'm not good at this. Well, try to rethink, try to change that. Fixed mindset people are always gonna be in the negative. They're gonna think negative thoughts. I'll give up. This is too hard. I can't make this any better. I made a mistake. It's, you know what? I'm not as smart as she is. You know, she's smarter than me. I'll never be smart. So those are all those negative thoughts in a fixed mindset mind. But we want you to change it into a growth mindset. So am I on the right track? Start thinking that way. Um, I can always improve, so I'll keep trying mistakes help me to learn better and that's the thing guys mistakes can help you to learn better i'm going to figure out how she does it is it really my best work i know that sometimes with assistance learning we're not giving it 100 percent so it's important that you do give it the 100 percent in everything in these last three weeks and if you're missing anything you know who you can go to. You can always go to your teacher to ask for questions. And if there's anything else that you need, we're here for you, Miss James yes. and I. We're both <laughs> here for you. So, with that being said, yeah, like Miss Garcia is saying, right now is not the time to give up. Right now is the time to keep pushing forward and finish the school year strong. So, reach out to teachers, to counselors, to admin. Let us know how we can help you. And remember, Always be, Always be a, a yeti. <laughs> yet is the most important word you'll ever need to know. With it, you'll be able to uh, achieve incredible things, no matter how difficult some things appear to be or how many times it takes you to get to where you want to be. So always remember to add the word yet to your sentence. I can do this yet. I don't know that yet. Or I'm not able yet. Remember to choose to be positive and have fun as you learn and enjoy being challenged in class in, new, in this new distance learning environment. Exactly. So boys and girls, with the three weeks that are left, we expect you to do it. You can do it. You can do it. Making sure that your mindset is in that growth sense versus fixed and just a reminder, we're going to be meeting with you in a Zoom classroom this next week, starting on Friday with fourth and fifth, and then next week with the other grade levels. 
So be on the lookout. We hope you can join us. Yes. Be a Yeti. Exactly. Bye.